This first sequence shows a fire test on a deep fat fryer following the new UL300 test procedures. The new requirements state that a commercially available fryer must be used with a minimum heat up rate of 12 degrees per minute and a maximum cool down rate of 5 degrees per minute. Also, the auto ignition temperature of the cooking oil must be at least 685 degrees Fahrenheit. The oil is heated until it auto ignites. Then, it is allowed to burn for two minutes with the fuel source left on at full intensity. During the second minute of pre-burn, the flame gains intensity and increases in height until it actually surrounds the discharge nozzle. At the two minute mark, the system is actuated. During discharge, there can be no splashing of flaming cooking oil outside the perimeter of the appliance. The fire is extinguished in a matter of seconds, and the agent builds up a foam blanket that secures the liquid surface to prevent reignition. The foam blanket must secure the fire for at least 20 minutes according to the new standard. This second sequence shows a fire test following the older UL Subject 300 test methods. This less stringent test allows the use of mock-up appliances with no specified heat up rates. And because the mock-up appliances are not insulated, they cool down very rapidly. Also, the required minimum auto ignition temperature of the cooking oil is 650 degrees Fahrenheit versus 685 with the new standard. And unlike the new UL test, the fuel source is immediately shut off after the fire ignites and the pre-burn is only one minute. Following the pre-burn period, the system is actuated. Again, the fire is quickly extinguished and a foam blanket is formed. This test requires just a five minute securement period, which can be more easily met because the lower temperatures and faster cool down rates do little to degrade the foam blanket. This third sequence shows both fire tests simultaneously. Again, you'll be able to clearly see the significant differences in pre-burn time and flame intensity between the more stringent UL300 test on the left and the previous test method as shown on the upper right. The added requirements to minimize the splashing of hot cooking oils also play a significant role in the longer extinguishment times and increased agent quantities used in today's UL300 systems. The new UL300 standard is clearly a more stringent test, which more closely simulates real-world conditions, not only as shown in these fire tests, but in the testing of woks, griddles, ranges, char broilers, and various other appliances.